And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Frutidens, which was a request from Dinosaur 4602, so thanks. It was a heterodontosaurid that lived in the Jurassic in what is now Colorado, and its name means Fruititooth. It's the smallest known ornithischian. Young adults are estimated to be 26 to 30 inches. That is small. Yep, or 65 to 75 centimeters long, and weigh 1.1 to 1.7 pounds. <laughs> Or half 2.75 kilograms. Yeah, I often forget when we talk about length measurements, a lot of that is tail and neck. So the amount of actual body is a lot less than it looks like. It's like a chicken with a tail, although even smaller. Maybe more like a pigeon with a tail. (laughs) It's similar to Echinodon, which was a small bipedal dinosaur from the Cretaceous and what is now England. And it's got similar body proportions to Heterodontosaurus, so it had, yeah short arms and long legs, and the hind limb bones were hollow, similar to small theropods, so it was lightweight and probably agile. It also may have had bristly filaments along its back, which is speculative, based on a relative, Tian Yulong. Hmm. It's an ornithischian. Most ornithischians are herbivores, but since fruit dens was so small, it may have been hard to digest just plant vegetation. Yeah, can't keep that stuff in there for 72 hours. <laughs> yeah, you need those big guts. <laughs> mm-hmm. It was probably bipedal and omnivorous. The jaws weren't really specialized, so it may have eaten plants, insects, and other invertebrates. And it could open its jaws wide and bite quickly, but it had a weak bite. The lower jaws had an enlarged canine-like tooth with a gap for it in the upper jaw. Hmm. And a small peg-like tooth was found in front of the canine-like tooth. It kind of reminds me of a warthog. (laughs) Or like a (laughs) hippo or something. The way they have those big bottom teeth and then like the small flatter teeth in front. Mm -hmm. It also had replacement teeth, which is different from other heterodontosaurids. Its name refers to Fruta, Colorado, where it was found. It was found in the 1970s and 80s by George Callison and a team from the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County, and they found it in the Morrison Formation's Brushy Basin member. It was formally described in 2010 by Richard Butler and others, and the type species is Frutidens hagerorum. The species names in honor of Paul Haga Jr., Heather Haga, Blythe Haga, <laughs> and Paul Haga III, and Catalina Haga for the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County, who provided support. And hopefully I pronounced their last name correctly. You only said it like seven times. I don't think anyone would notice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they found incomplete jaws and vertebrae, partial hind limbs, and a nearly fully grown individual, as well as at least three other individuals. And And they ranged in age from two to five years. Other animals that lived in the same time and place as frutidens include snails, clams, crayfish, insects, fish, turtles, lizards, crocodilomorphs, and mammals. That'd be a good one to have a replica of. You could fit that just about anywhere. (laughs) If it's only like less than three feet long. You can make a puppet out of it. Maybe. It's probably got a real skinny neck. Oh, true. Marionette. Yeah. (laughs) 